Look at this piece of crap. Now that's pretty cool. It's made out of cardboard. Two dollars and fifty cents. It's amazing they have a security camera for something guarding something that's two dollars and fifty cents. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Yes, lost another pair of sunglasses last night on the flight. And I also got this cool dog pug t-shirt. Quite the ensemble. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. Wait a second. One mile above sea level? That must mean I am in the mile high city of Denver, Colorado. Oh yes, the beautiful mountains in the background, the state capital in the foreground, losing my breath because the altitude is something I am not acclimated to or acclimated to. I'm getting winded. It is a real thing, ladies and gentlemen. Altitude, out of breath. It's a curse. Now it sounds like something that would not be a real thing, but let me assure you, when you get off that plane and you are not used to the mountainous regions and you start wandering around, if you do not stay hydrated and you do not acclimate accordingly, you start to feel a little bit woozy, no pun intended. And she has a pretty decent sized bike but it is nothing compared to this one. Imagine mounting that and taking, taking it down a slide. The guy behind me is on a Razor scooter. I haven't seen one of those in about a decade. As I cross the street, there is a head split in two and there's something that resembles a carrot dangling from the middle of it. It's a good thing he's staring the other way because if he was looking at me, that would be a little awkward. Oh my gosh, that is a huge flock of birds. Hitchcock would be proud. Right here in the middle of this park is the Ten Commandments. It's kind of random. Wasn't expecting to see that walking down the sidewalk. It's also a rare occurrence to see a horse standing on top of a huge chair. What are you doing up there, horse? Oh, this is no joke. This thing is probably about 15 to 20 feet tall. He's just perched up there, perusing and purveying and seeing over all of the city. Chewbacca? This is also slightly interesting. You can even touch the whiskers of the broom and see chunks of the trash being cast up into the dustpan itself. You wait and see, Mr. Carruthers. One day I'm going to be mayor and I'm going to clean up this town. Good. You can start by sweeping the floor. These cows are so large, people are using them for shade. This is the old Rocky Mountain PBS building. Supposedly, there's some remnants left in the sidewalk. It appears to be true. Back in the 60s and 70s, Denver tried to do their own walk of fame, and the handprints are all still here. On August 30th, 1962, Roy Rogers stood right there, as well as Charlton Heston. In fact, there are a multitude of them Think of how many years ago, the 60s, that was before I was even born. And here's Jackie Coogan, played Uncle Fester on The Addams Family. Linda Evans, from 1965, from the TV show, The Big Valley. Sadly, a lot of them are in very, very poor shape. This one probably being the worst, it's unrecognizable. Even Bill Bixby is here, pre-Hulk Bill Bixby back when it was the courtship of Eddie's father that he was known for. And as you walk on, there starts to be a lot of blank spaces. It seems like they had big plans to continue all the way down the aisle, and it never happened. And I'm gonna guess they hid this fact from Bill Bixby because you do not want to see the Hulk angry.
sometimes Uber drivers are very confused on the locations. Sorry, I had you. I had you perched in that foliage. They're very confused sometimes about where they drop me off. But little did he know, right at the location of this bank, something historic happened. On this very spot sat Colorado's first drive-in restaurant, the Humpty Dumpty. And if that's not awesome enough, it is also the location of the very first ever cheeseburger. Now you're excited, right? I knew you would be. The trademark was registered by the owner of the restaurant on March 5th, 1935. And I must be honest, I wish it was still a burger place. I want to try one of those historic first cheeseburgers just for posterity. It would be not so nice to mow it down in my mouth. But I had to just use my imagination and just pretend. That's my shadow. This is my shadow with the water. I have been told by many locals that it's the best thing to drink as much water as possible. Gatorade's good, sodas, eh, not so good when it comes to hydration. Water really helps on these high altitude areas. The classic Coca-Cola sign up on the side of that brick wall. And there's a classic car driving by. What are the odds? And over here across the road, there's some artwork on the side of this building as well. A fish in some sort of a clamp mechanism. A woman posing and her face looks like the inside of an apple. This one's a little bit trippy. Don't stare at it too long. It looks like they built a little restaurant out of this old milk jug. It's an ice cream place. Little man ice cream. It's pretty neat. If I wasn't consuming this gargantuan water, I might get some ice cream. What the heck is that a statue of behind me? It's like a mound of red, sloppy hot dogs just festering there on top of each other. I think this is as good a place as any to take the majestic up into the heavens and get a bird's eye view of downtown Denver. I'm in a different location than I was earlier. I'm a little bit closer to the nether regions, the circumference of fun known as downtown than I was before. I kind of looped around the circle. I've done the, the circle around the city and now I'm in this park, this beautiful park. It's very lovely and the skyline is looking, shall we say, majestic. This place has a very angelic quality about it. Straight ahead, you're looking basically right down one of the main avenues in downtown. And I must say, there is a peaceful ambiance about this road. I'm not 100% sure if the rest of the city is this way. But this is not very congested and not very crazy currently at this particular time. There's a mural of a cowboy over there sitting around playing the git fiddle. The sign has a big mug and it baited me in. It worked. I bought one. Except they didn't serve mine in a mug, only in this paper cup. Seems to be a herd of buffalo over here just chilling on the side of the road. They're standing very still though. I think that's a warning sign. They're about to stampede. It's a trap. We're about to experience something called the sound walk. And as you move your feet forward over these grates, you will hear noises. This one is a bird talking to us. Who knows what this one could possibly be. <laughs> We're being serenaded. On to the next one.
You can hear it. You can hear it tromping below the streets. It's down there, trust me. You okay down there, buddy? You okay down there? These are very unusual chairs. <laughs> it's like you're spinning in a top while you're trying to relax. That guy has an agenda. That cow does, right there. One of the most famous landmarks of downtown Denver is this blue bear who for years has been peeking inside that window. He's a peeping Tom. Look at that sunset over the road there. Traffic's just whizzing by really quick too. Everyone's in a hurry to get somewhere. And the sun is not in a hurry, it's just eking down slowly. It's been a great day. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Vlog over.